This is the AGM. Let me start with the lithium battery by Banshee. Thank you. The standard good old lead acid battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate, which is, so that is pretty much the batteries uh, I was talking about. So a little background story, how this, uh, this whole thing began. I was uh, doing one of my uh, shoots on the Goldwing, took it out, you know, used reverse back forward, set it up so I can get a nice uh, photo shoot. And I told the Goldwing off by the cut, uh, the engine cut switch, which apparently uh, the guy that I bought the bike uh, from told me never do that. He was right. I forgot all about it, did my photo shoot, went back into the house only to come back a few hours later and the battery is dead. Battery completely died. I left the switch on with the lights on because I cut the engine with the, uh, the switch. So I had to look for a replacement. Open up the GL uh, 1500 and took out this heavy battery. This is standard battery. The guy that owned the bike before me actually uh, labeled it when he installed it. He installed it uh, July. 2021 so it's a two and a half three year old three year old battery and it's completely dead so what do i do i go to the internet i don't know nothing about you know batteries i go to the internet and try to figure out what i need all i see is uh the 20 amp hour that i had on this battery and i start searching the internet and i'm uh, co totally confused totally lost because there's so many different uh types and of batteries and and options out there. I reach out to a few, uh, to a few suppliers, a few manu uh, manufacturers, and uh, see if they want to, you know, send me stuff uh, so I can uh, showcase their different items. And I get two people to respond and to send me batteries. So in this video, I'm going to be actually talking about four different types of batteries that I only heard of, never of, didn't know much about. So I'm going to be sharing my knowledge from what i've dug up and uh, try to enlighten and teach you a little bit i'm no expert totally no expert and i'm sure i'm going to be getting a lot of things wrong so if i do i apologize let me know down by the comments if i got something wrong and all i'm telling you is my opinion from my uh limited amount of knowledge that i dug up in the last few days first battery you're gonna be talking about this is uh the standard good old lead acid battery that we all know it's been uh more than 100 years that technology lead plates with uh, swimming inside water or all around it the lead lead plates and then uh liquid acid fluid within them we i don't i don't need to talk much about it it's pretty heavy typical battery like this last one um two three years and fairly cheap technology the thing is nowadays with uh the newer bikes the newer cars that are using with all the bluetooth connections the stereo system the alarms the lights everything the battery actually needs uh to be very strong and to uh, big enough and powerful enough because a lot of electricity is being drawn from this that's why uh the nowadays people are going towards uh bigger, stronger batteries, and uh, we'll talk about that right now. The next battery I want to show is another pretty heavy battery. This is a, the AGM. AGM, this specific one was sent to me from Banshee. I will have links, by the way, down by the description for all these uh, batteries. This, is, this battery is an AGM. AGM stands for absorbed glass uh, mat now what pretty much this is same uses the same chemistry as the liquid acid battery the battery we just uh, seen before the only difference over here there's no liquid the way that's built over here they have pretty much the liquid acid is absorbed within those fiberglass mats and it it's rather solid or gel like material so there's no actual liquid running through it but it uses the same chemistry as the, the liquid acid. Now, because of these fiberglass mats, the way they're built, they're able to hold a lot more material, a lot more acid. So they're able to make a lot more lead plates and a lot of these fiberglass mats. 
and uh, are able to get a lot more surface area in between these in these between these plates making this a more powerful battery than uh, the lead acid additionally this is a sealed battery a sealed battery and there's no need to refill there's no evaporation of uh, the liquid and there's no maintenance needed with this i didn't say this in the beginning but all the batteries i'm comparing now are the the same type I had on my Goldwing or on my, my Lowrider ST, and it's a 20 amp hour battery. So this is a 20 amp hour battery because of its, uh, you know, the, the technology within it, it's a faster charging than the, uh, the, standard, the standard liquid uh, acid batteries. There's no, it's sealed, so there's no need to refill, there's no need to maintenance, no maintenance on this. The battery lasts longer than a standard battery, this specific one has 295 cranking amps, which is apparently stronger, more powerful, okay? More powerful than uh, the standard battery that I just shown before. This battery is uh, pretty heavy. It's uh, for this specific one is 14 pounds. We're gonna actually weigh it very soon. And it's pretty much, it weighs very close to the liquid acid battery, the standard one. So there's no, there's no weight uh, gain in this. But as I said uh, before, this maintenance free, very easy to make, very easy, easy to maintain. There's no liquid. And it's claimed that this battery actually lasts twice as long as a standard battery. It's, it's slightly more expensive than the standard battery. And yeah, this is the AGM. It is resistant to freezing, so this can pretty much work in uh, cold temperatures, no problem. Next battery we're going to be talking about is uh, the lithium, lithium family of batteries. And over here, oh, I just want to show you for comparison. comparison, I have over here two lithium batteries. I uh, will talk about the first one. This is, uh, this is the lith just a lithium battery, and this is the lithium iron phosphate battery. Let me start with the lithium battery by Banshee. Thank you so much to Banshee for sending me this battery for review. The lithium ion, and this is a 20 amp hour battery, same as uh, the two other ones. The lithium uh, chemistry in this battery is made up of lithium, and in this case, uh, with a few other metals, cobalt, manganese, and nickel, which makes this battery extremely light, but it makes it somewhat unstable, slightly tends to heat up sometimes and it's more vulnerable for heating up combusting uh, and sometimes even exploding that's why these batteries always come with a, a bms inside a battery management system that pretty much runs through a, a small motherboard electronic board that controls how fast it charges if it's overheating it's going to cut off if it's a voltage is too high it cuts off voltage is too low it shuts down so there's always a bms in this and as you can see, this battery is extremely light, extremely light. It's less than five pounds. This specific battery, this battery actually lasts much longer than the AGM and obviously the uh, liquid acid delivers 680 cranking apps, which is pretty much three times a standard battery meaning that this is extremely powerful for the start or the initial start. It gives it a, this is what we compare horsepower. If I can compare it as an engine, it's pretty much the horsepower. It's the cranking apps. There's no acid, there's no lead uh, inside, environmentally friendly, and somebody already in the in the comments already wrote in one of my videos before, yeah, well, it has nickel and has cobalt in it. How is that not uh, earth, like uh, f environmentally friendly? Guys, I'm just uh, telling you. I don't know how they got the chemicals, the materials, but this does not have acid. That's all I want to say. This, the lithium battery has a very low self uh, discharge, which means it loses its uh, own charge very, very slowly. That's why it's very good for long-term uh, storage of a motorcycle. For example, if you're going to use this over the, over the winter, it will actually discharge very, very slowly. Now with this one as well, it's completely sealed. And uh, since there's absolutely no liquid in, in it, it can be installed any position, any direction. This battery, however, the lithium ion battery, suffers from uh, cold, cold weather operations. Anything below freezing actually will impair, or let's put it this way, you need to heat this, uh, to heat up the battery before you use it in freezing temperatures. 
And actually, I was told it's no big deal. All you need to do is let the headlight headlight run a little bit. Immediately, it's going to draw power out of this battery. And the minute you draw power out of the battery, it uh, heats up the battery. And then there's no problem cranking uh, the starter. So that is the lithium ion battery. Next battery I'm going to be showing you is also a very light battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate, which uh, again, same concept with lithium, but here the chemistry is a bit different. In this case, the lithium use iron and phosphate. The iron makes it a little bit heavier, so it's uh, slightly heavier than this battery. However, the chemistry and composition of uh, chemicals within this battery makes this battery more stable it's safer actually safer than the lithium batteries and this is actually a battery that you'd find in uh, vehicles and places where safety is more important that's not to say that the lithium battery isn't safe but this is considered more uh more stable and safer this too also has a bms a battery battery management system the lithium iron battery enjoys a longer lifespan than even the lithium battery actually this is considered the longest life span of all the batteries I just showed and that's why it's slightly more expensive than all the rest than the rest of the batteries this is the batteries that actually you have in the all the electrical vehicles with this battery the temperature range of uh, its operation is wider it can go uh, below freezing point and still work properly and it can go up to 60 degrees Celsius so it gives her a, a wider uh, range of uh, temperatures than the lithium battery. Matter of fact, this battery can last up to 10 years. Now let's talk a little about uh, energy density and I'm gonna read exactly what it is. The energy density of a battery determines how much energy can be stored in a given volume or weight. The chemistry actually determines how efficient the battery can store its energy. And in the case of uh, the lithium battery, as, it's, as it is, it has a very high energy density. And uh, that's why very light, and you can store a lot of energy in it, as opposed to this one that you can store a lot of energy in it, but is, it's not as light. Well, the last thing that I forgot to mention as I was wrapping up the video, I realized I never talked about. A lot of manufacturers out there making uh, batteries for different applications. Motorcycling, you absolutely want to make sure that the polarity, okay, where the positive and when the, where the negative is located, also the type of connection. In this case, you can see that the Golden Mate, that this specifically was made for different applications, uh, not, rel not specifically only for motorcycles. In this case, the positive and the negative, the positive is not, is not like you'd have on your bike right now. Obviously, it's... Uh, possible to just uh, you know flip the battery over but not all cases it's actually possible uh, many battery manufacturers or many battery types actually have four different locations of uh, of the uh, polar uh, connecting points so make sure you check that it's uh, made for motorcycles and if your motorcycle can actually uh, handle in this case for example this situation I'm gonna to need to flip it over. It's not a problem with the gold wing, but make sure you do that before you buy. So that is pretty much the batteries uh, I was talking about. I'm sure there are other technologies or other chemistry of batteries out there using different chemicals to create a little bit more energy density or to lighten up the weight or to give the battery a longer lifespan. Like I said, this is extremely heavy liquid acid battery that I had on my bike and I probably have on my uh, Lowrider ST. The next one up is the AGM, which pretty much uses the same chemistry as the liquid acid, but here there's no liquid. It's actually fiberglass plates that absorb that acid and there's no movement. There's also no evaporation of the acid itself and there's no need to refill. Then we have the lithium battery, which is extremely light, like I said, with very high very high energy density but somewhat suffers from cold weather operation and the lithium iron phosphate which also extremely light yet slightly slightly heavier than uh, the lithium battery has great cranking power and, and a very long lifespan like i said if you know a little bit more about this 
please leave a comment down below and let everybody know so we can all learn. Additionally, um, if you want me to see your comments, just so you know, I'm really busy flying. That's my real job and I don't have much time for the rest of the things. So I actually use a filter that shows me only the uh, comments from people that are subscribed to me. So if you want to send a message to me, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel so I can see your comments and I can actually grow this channel. That's it. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.